What up, what up? You already know this is Punch Drunk Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moo. Shot himself. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, Demetrius Bubo and Drain, his last outing, took an L in the hands of David Benavidez. Um, you already know, man, the, the, the first several rounds, it was a great, it was good rounds for Demetrius and Dre, um, hitting David Benavides with great combinations and things of that nature, but the size of David Benavides was just too much and overwhelmed Demetrius Bubo and Dre. Um... And the, but the Mise Andre is looking to get back in the ring. Is very eager to get back inside the ring with Jamel Charlo or Jamal Charlo, in which I really think is a good matchup for the Mise Andre. Uh, the Mise Andre just moved up to the super middleweight division last year, right? Um, Jamel Charlo just moved up to the super, super middleweight division where he faced Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez overwhelmed Jamel Charlo. Um, Jamal Charlo, you know, uh, was out for quite some time. And he necessarily he necessarily he didn't move up to the super middleweight division, but he he fought in the catchweight versus Jose Benavidez, um, and he recently trying to move up to the super middleweight division. So I could see, uh, you know, they got a lot of bad. Uh, there's a lot of bad blood there with the Mise Andre and Jamel Charlo. Not necessarily Jamal Charlo anymore. We saw them being cordial with each other, but knowing that the PBC um, got this Amazon Prime deal. Um, we hear a lot that what is Canelo Alvarez going to who's Canelo Alvarez going to be fighting there's people out there that are saying that the next fight for Canelo Alvarez is not going to be David Benavidez a lot of people is alluding that probably David Benavidez is going to be fighting Jamal Charlo I do think that um, if he went a whole five a whole or, or if he took his his big brother the distance Jose Benavidez which the which is the little big brother I, I think he's going to get overwhelmed by by David Benavidez like um like Demise Andre was overwhelmed by David Benavidez. Um, so I think a, a fight with Demise Andre versus um, Jamal Charlo was way overdue. But I could also see Jamal Charlo with Demise Andre. That's what Demise Andre really want. Demise really want one of the Charlos, and I think that's a good fight in the sport of boxing. You know, um, I think it's a is 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 a is an attract uh, attractive fight. Um, depending on if they can have their own. Sh uh, um, own, you know, own pay-per-view probably, you know, with the Amazon Prime deal or they could be in the co-main event of maybe a Canelo Alvarez fight um, there's a lot of bad blood there with Jamel and Demis Andre and I think that both of these guys, it makes a little bit more sense because both of these guys have been in 154, they've been lined up to fight in the past and, and, and it didn't come to the fruition because of the business of boxing, um, the business, the business of the Demis Andre didn't didn't assure him to get that type of fight because he was in a little bit of a of, of a limbo and in his situation with promotion with the promotional deal that he had before. Um, I think it makes sense right now for Jamal Charlo to meet Andre to get it on, or Jamal Charlo. Um, if David Benavidez, if, if if and there are a lot of people saying that Canelo Alvarez may face Jaime Munguia. Um, with the Amazon Prime deal, I just don't think that's I, I I I think look I think that Jaime Munguia if he knocks out Ryder I think that that Canelo Alvarez is gonna will want to fight Jaime Munguia next but I just don't know with the Amazon Prime deal if it's gonna make sense with the three fight deal why would they just in the first fight of the Amazon Prime deal they want to do a co a co promotional deal a co promotional fight on the first fight with Amazon Prime and Canelo Alvarez you know what I'm saying they want to keep it in house so I think that um don't be uh, look fellas. Ladies, don't be, don't be also, um, uh, because the lack of inf inventory for a, uh, for Canelo Alvarez potential opponent, don't be surprised if you see, uh, the Mise Andre and Canelo, because I'm saying if he's going to fight guys from, uh, for this affiliated with the PBC, it's, it could only be Jamar Charlo, it could be David Benavidez, or really it could only be, uh, uh the Mise Andre, because he already fought Jamal Charlo, he already fought Caitlin Plant. If Canelo Alvarez fights Jamal Charlo, who David Benavidez is going to be fighting here, right? You know, he's, he's not going to fight Jamal Charlo. He's not going to fight Demise Andre. How about David Morrell? Maybe, maybe, but will Samson put both of his fighters up against each other? I don't, that's, I don't think that's going to happen. That's almost like saying that Barbosa is going to be fighting Jose Ramirez, who is who's, who is managed, who's both both managed by, by Rick. Um... Maybe the David Morrell really comes into the picture this time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I 
I really do think that it's going to be uh, the Mise Andre and Jamel Charlo. And I think that um, Canelo Alvarez probably get uh, Jamal Charlo. You know, I think so. But then David Benavidez, I just don't think that would be too much for for Jamal Charlo for the for for J it would be too much for Jamal Charlo to fight David Benavidez, knowing how we saw, you know, the the size differences of uh, uh, Demis Andre and David Benavidez. But of course, um, he could use that WBC title and put himself in position for David Benavidez fight as a WBC interim. Question is, when is the WBC going to mandate the Canelo Alvarez and David Benavides? Maybe they're going to be fighting in September, like people be saying. I don't know. But what do y'all think about Demetrius Andre fighting Jamel Charlo? You know, both of them coming from losses. But both of these guys recently just moved up. And I think it just makes sense for Jamel Charlo and Demetrius Andre. I think the promotion will be lit. I think the promotion. I think the promotion is gonna be lit. There is some bad blood there. It'll probably be like you know Tony Harrison and Jamel Charlo going back and forth in the in the leading up to the promotion. Um, I think it makes more sense in my opinion. Uh, both of them don't rehydrate that much in 168. I think it'll be fair. I don't think that Jamel Charlo is gonna go back to the 154 after you know what I'm saying losing a couple of his uh, um, his title. He's not, he's not currently holding the status of undisputed, but in my eyes, he's still undisputed in 154. He never lost the titles, just like Canelo Alvarez never lost the title in the super middleweight, and he still was undisputed. Um, don't think that Jim Charles is going to go back. Uh, there could be a potential fight with Bud Crawford and 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 and, and Jamel Charlo. I just don't think that Jamel Charlo is going to be healthy to move all the way back down from 168. So I do see a Demise Andre and Jamel Charlo, you know, probably in the summer, uh, maybe Juneteenth. That's a good day. Uh, the Charlos have fought in that date before, and oh, maybe they could do a co a co a co. Um, you know. Maybe we could see a maybe David Benavidez if, if Jamal Charlo was ready to fight David Benavidez, then maybe you could see a a, um, a Cole Charlo pay per view like we did in the like we do, like we saw in the pandemic when Jamal when Jamal Charlo fought Jason Rosario and Jamal Charlo fought Sergey Derevchenko. We could see a Jamal Charlo versus Demetrius Andre, and we could see a Jamal Charlo versus David Benavidez, and it'll be a wonderful call for Amazon Prime. Let me know what y'all think, man. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Love you, God bless, and on to the next.